Hey, Sar. What's up? Special slow drag. Um, How are you? How's your day? Is your health good? Yeah, yeah, everything's, yeah. everything's pretty kosher. Oh, that's amazing. How's the wife? Uh, she's okay. The family? Kids? Kids are... Doing good in school? They're they're uh, do, still doing the homeschool thing. Wow. Yeah, okay, but wow. the wife's on top of that stuff. She's, uh, she's a great mathematician and yeah. scientist. Want to protect like, them from this COVID deadly virus. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, that's kind of why I brought you in here. So uh -huh. slow drag it. Um, right. You look to be up to date on all your COVID vaccinations and booster shots. That's right, Sarm. Um, and as you know, um, mm. it was recently put out like two months ago, actually. Really? That okay. masks are now optional if you're 100% on your SRP, which you are. So I'm just wondering, maybe we can, you know, it's optional. You, you have every right to keep your mask on. What's going on, guys? So this video is sponsored by Burna, a non-lethal and effective, super powerful weapon for those of you looking for something for self-defense. As you can see, it kind of resembles a Glock. It comes with a five round magazine, fully loaded, weighs about 1.3 pounds. It's got the uh, fire and safe going on here. A little difficult to get it back on safe, but that's what you want in a weapon. Yeah, so the uh, the projectiles in the magazine, they impact at about 13 joules, but they travel between 220 and 300 feet per second. So if you get stung by one of these, you're taking a knee. Oh yeah, you might be going to the hospital too. Verna offers a few options to choose from when it comes to weapons, the color of the weapon that you're looking for, or even accessories, which by the way, there are a ton of. Okay, so I do carry the uh, the Verna HD in my vehicle and I tuck it between my seat and the armrest. I carry an extra magazine with like five of the projectiles. Uh, they are legal here in Los Angeles to carry or keep in your car if you want. The weapon is considered a BB gun and the projectiles are kinetic. Uh, I think the only projectiles that are illegal out here in Los Angeles are the peppered ones. So I can carry this uh, for my own personal safety and self-defense. For those of you veterans that are out in like states like New York, uh, definitely look up the law and see if you're able to carry these around. Uh, I don't know what the law is over there, but I know here in Los Angeles, especially for me when I'm out and about and I want to use something for my own uh, personal self-defense, I keep it in my car. It also offers a one-year manufacturer warranty with the option of an extended three-year warranty per launcher for just 30 bucks. There are some shipping restrictions depending on what state you're in, so check the FAQ and see if your state allows the item to be shipped. So if you're looking for a secondary alternative or non-lethal option, Visit Burner.com today. Yeah, they also have options on the projectiles that you can choose from. So these are kinetic. They also offer pepper projectiles. So I like to alternate kinetic pepper, kinetic pe That's way, that way they don't know. It's what like the like tracers and That's why they don't know what they're getting. Oh! Yeah, so definitely check it out, guys. That's all we got. Back to the video. Uh, you, we understand that you want to stay protected. Right. Uh, it is mm -hmm. a deadly virus. Um, yeah. But if you're, if you have all your vaccinations, you, you know that you're 95% pretty much covered. You're, you're 95% protected. And, and there's a high, highly unlikelihood right. that you will mm -hmm. spread the virus if you are a carrier. Uh -huh. The mask is a little unnecessary at this point. Mm -hmm. we, can, um, we can take it off. So, sir, here, here's, here's my thing on it. Mm -hmm. um, deadly virus going around everywhere. I looked at statistics when it comes to the flu shot and versus the virus itself. Did you know that in 2019 in the flu shot, 40,000 people died from the flu versus 2020, like 350,000 people died from COVID. So the 90, 90, what was it? 95, 95, 95%. So check this out. I got a kid. You know that, right? Right. Condoms are supposed to be 99%. Guess who popped up pregnant with a condom on? My, my now ex fiance, but you know, we have a kid together. Yeah. The condom is supposed to protect you at 90, what, 98, 99, higher than 95%, and she still got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Granted, the kid is a little lighter than me, but kind of insecure about maybe it's not mine. You know, I thought about it because who wouldn't think about it? You know what I'm saying? I, I would, yeah. The kid would at least come out with a, a, some a shade of brown, of, but they tan. don't. The kid's albino from the mountain of Caucasus. But. The point here is that the condoms was supposed to protect me in 99% COVID with the vaccination, 95%. I get that, I get it. But you know what? Extra layer protection. I, like I should have double wrapped. I but. see and understand mm. your analogy kind right. of. Um, uh -huh. The whole, 
double wrapping yeah. thing is actually not good. Uh, that there's <laughs> statistics on that. You're not supposed to double wrap condoms. Um, condoms do break. However, uh, I've heard from other rumors and people that you have a pretty large member. So it's possible maybe your, your condom broke. See, the, the, the thing with the COVID vaccination is once it's in your arm, it doesn't, doesn't break. Hmm. You know, your, your body's immune system gets used to seeing like you know, scissor hands. I just feel comfortable in the Bible. It says what comes around goes around. So with me, can't come around if you can't find a way inside, right? Right, right. So I, I just prefer to have this on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. keep the masks on. You should probably wear one too. So, but like you said, it's optional. So it, you choose not to. I optional. choose to. Yeah. Okay. Um, that brings me to the next thing. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. There is something that is not optional. Right. right. And, and that's shaving. Right. In the military. Mm -hmm. Everyone should Everyone shave. Everyone has to shave. Gotta look clean. Shave your face. Yes. Brad just aren't. According to AR 670-1. Absolutely. You know, when they updated the whole mm -hmm. like 670-1, right, right. it allowed females to have ponytails yeah, and pigtails and yeah, all this pigtails. stuff. They they left out the men right. and uh, we still have to shave our faces. Yeah. And not allowed to grow beards. Yeah. Make sure you shave. <laughs> I shave every day. Every day, first thing I do in the morning is uh is shave a little bit. I shave. Mm -hmm. Every morning, sorry. So yep, nothing to worry about here. Can't even look twice. So, yeah. Would you, would you mind just taking your mask off for a What? Minute? No, sorry, no. COVID, we got to stay. We're, we're within three feet right now. We got to stay. I can back up. No, I mean, no, no. Stay there. Sorry, we don't have to go. Uh, how are you? Uh, we don't have to go anywhere, mm -hmm. actually. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I guess. Uh, um, if you want to keep your mask on, then yep, you can yep. keep your mask prefer on. I prefer to do that. I prefer to keep my mask on. It's safe. 90, what'd you say? 95? 95% safe. I want to keep that uh, within my uh, safety uh, net here of protection. An extra layer. I want to make sure. And, and on top of that shaving, you know, just really that layer really pressed against my skin just really feels nice. I think this might be a little bit silk. Maybe some polyester attached to it. So I shave every morning my 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 my, my ex-fiance would know i don't believe you especially, well that sounds subjective especially as low drag you, mm. you have facial hair protruding from your mask that everybody might... can see it i you can at least trim your facial hair to where it doesn't pop out of the mask and then optionally wear your mask continually keep the beard thing going but when people when the first sergeant yeah. sergeant first classes the major sees this I, I i have to i can't i can't fight for you anymore i it's out of my hands now you sorry you calling me a liar yes a hundred percent did i miss a spot do you see a spot missed I think I shaved every inch on my, you might be seeing a little bit of the nose hair. I grow a lot of nose hair, so you might be seeing a little bit of that, a little bit of the nose hair. So just tell them it's nose hair. Call me crazy, but mm. um, I feel that if you took your mask off, you would have a, you would look like uh, a very young, uh, sophisticated Santa Claus. Right and, now. and you know what? If I took my mask on, it'd make me vulnerable to COVID. And I don't want to be vulnerable. You actually short man here, so you got to need me to show up to work. So it's important that I keep this mask on. Actually, how how about you know, you're a specialist now? So how about I send you over over to the special forces training? All right, you can go to selection, uh, pass selection, go to the Q course, go to the Q course, pass the Q course, do Robin Sage, um, Airborne School. And then you could you can have a beard in the army. I don't want a beard, Sarn. I actually think I feel very professional without one when we shave. You know what, Sarn? Who is not shaven in this unit that the that the blame is coming on me? I'm actually I'm be, I'm feeling like I'm, I might be a little singled out here, Sarn. You know, and I'm starting to get a little emo emotional about the fact that you're kind of projecting that kind of energy to me, and I'm just trying to save my own life. You know, I'm trying to have a layer of protection here and you're making, you're forcing me to take this off. 
This might be against my religion, actually. Another thing that would allow you to have a beard in the military, but you have no religious preference on your, on all of your data, uh, your dog tags. Do you, would you like to change that maybe to Muslim possibly? And then you can have a beard. Really? Yes. You'd have to wear the the little hat thing. Oh. You might look more like a terrorist, Middle Eastern, but you can have the beard. Yeah. You almost got me. You almost got me with that one. You try to get me to incriminate myself, to agree to that, so that I can hope you can, you know, you see, now you can take your mask on and disappear. Pada. No, that's not gonna work with me. So no, I do not want to change my religious preference. I've been shaving every morning actually. And if you can't tell through the mask, then I don't know what to tell you. So when coronavirus first came out, they even said that if you have a beard or facial hair, it's actually not you know for someone who's trying to protect themselves against the virus, mm -hmm. having facial hair is, is not good yeah. because the Virus sticks to the hair follicles. I see. It's a race thing. You know what? I wanna I wanna speak to the first one. I wanna use the first one. It's door policy. Sorry. Sure. I see, I see what's happening here. Are we done? Can I go? Sure, you can. This is this is incredible, Sarn. I'm wearing a mask and I shave every morning. What you're seeing is a little bit of nose hair. But you are overreacting. You are freaking out. You're losing it, Sarn. You're losing your way. That's... You might want to get your eyes checked and your ears checked yeah. and make sure you have that in your med pros. So when you go to the VA, you can claim that at the VA. I don't know what to tell you. Make sure you shave. You might have missed a spot. <sighs> I quit. I quit. You almost got me. <laughs> there is something that is not optional. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's shaving right. in the military. Everyone should Everyone shave. Everyone has to shave. Gotta look clean. Shave your face. Yes. Roger, sir. I understand that. I shave it every morning. Every morning. <laughs> Sorry. Got that, sir. It's falling out. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. But it yeah. looks funny yeah. still. Yeah. So it's, it's a matter of discipline. Who is not shaving in this unit? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me. I. I shave. I shave. Every morning. <laughs> I think I shaved every inch of my... You might be seeing a little bit of the nose hair. I grow a lot of nose hair. <laughs> Who? You know what? Who is not shaving in this 